check this out. Talking about an exciting night right here, right up in the Pacific Northwest. Guess what? Got two of the baddest dogs anywhere in the world right here in this house. Emerald Cup Bodybuilding Fitness and Figure Championships going on tonight here in the Seattle, greater Seattle area. Tell you what, got two of the hot shots right here right now for the Mr. Olympia title. These guys are both going to be vying for it this year. The big bad Dennis Wolf out of Germany, of course, marvelous. Melvin Anthony. Hey guys, glad to have you here, man. Up in Thanks. the great Pacific Northwest once again. Now, Dennis, your first time up here, correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah, a little bit wet, mm. a little cold for you? Yeah. Oh, a little cold. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit different from Germany. Okay, you uh, get a chance to get out around town and see her? Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah, a chance to, uh, to see a shopping mall and uh, okay. some restaurants. All so. Right. All right, well, now listen, I hear a lot of talk. I'm going to get with Melvin too right. in a second, but I hear a lot of talk about uh, you might be the guy to beat here in a future lift. Got to pull oh, yeah. that off. I appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's probably I will have a chance uh, next year, uh, 2010, to uh, to get the title. So. But you know what, though? I think <laughs> that guy right there has a little bit of something, something to say about <laughs> nah, it. Now, shoot. he's been in the top, what, six, Melvin, the last couple of years? Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, six. you're up there, up there with the top guy. Yeah, it's it's a it's an accomplishment, and it's a, it's a long road. But this guys like this keeps keep me on my toes, you know? Keep you got to be right, you know, and uh, Dennis is going to be good. He's going to oh, be Dennis good. Tough. Now, yeah. is there any free predictions, man, between you guys and the Olympia? Well, we're going to battle again. We, we, battle <laughs> at the, we, we battle at the Olympia, and if they, you know, if they give me the opportunity, the judges, you know, see it that way, then we'll battle. You know, Dennis is going to be battling everybody. You know, everybody's right. going to want a shot at him. They're going to put a lot of different physiques next to him. Some guys with the better symmetry, some guys that are just as big. So he's got a pretty complete package because he's got both. So, you know, it's going to be a tussle. All right, all right. Now, I mean, what would you guys consider some of your strong suits? I mean, obviously, you guys, when you're at that level, you got great symmetry, great muscularity. I mean, but there's certain things that stand out more so with, uh, you know, even guys on the professional level. Some guys got bigger legs, bigger back. Yeah. Do you guys feel like there's any strong points that you have in particular? On him, I think he's got a lot of stuff. He's wow. really wide. Oh, you he's don't got. Want to talk about you, huh? You I'll go. I get to mine in a okay, second. Because well, you know, <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an analytical kind of guy. Okay, I like, okay, I, you know, right, I, I pay right. attention. You know, okay. as well as Dennis, he pays attention. He's got wide clavicles, which is genetic gift. Right, you know, yeah. you can't. You're born with that. You know, you can't Correct. build. Correct. You exactly. know, wide yeah, clavicles. Yeah. He's got wide clavicles, so that's going to give him the opportunity to be able to hold more size and appear bigger, because he's a taller guy. Um, another attribute for him is he has a tiny waist for a tall guy. Most tall guys are blocky. Um, I ain't saying no names, but you know, most tall guys at his height are blocky. So, you know, uh, he has that going for him because he's got a tiny waist and he's got a wide lat spread. So a uh, back's always a good thing for him. So big legs, you know, he's not really lacking any body parts. For me, um, it's a condition game for me. Um, if, if I'm not where they think I should be, then I'm docked. So, you know, if I try to do something too drastic, like at the Arnold, I came in about 10 pounds heavier, and I guess they didn't like it. So I kind of stood there and rotted. Did you feel so, like you were a little smoother in Arnold? No, actually, I was in good shape. You I think like that, good yeah, shape. I think I was. I think that they just weren't used to me being that big. And they said, you know, even the, some of the judges said I was too big. And I, I didn't understand that, you know. So, you know, I just go back to the drawing board and, and try to refocus and maybe come somewhere in between for the Olympia with a little bit of improvement. And I'll be able to battle with Dennis again, so. If yeah. not, I'll be last. <laughs> you know, it's either you net it or you don't. Do you guys feel like you placed fairly at the Olympia? I mean, do you think your placings were fair? Do you think you should have been higher? I mean, you know, I mean, obviously, always, you know, because you guys put so much work into this. They were saying we should have yeah. been higher. They said well, that, I heard that they, I heard they that said that both of us should have been curious. higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but and uh, uh, nothing me, you can do. I, uh, I started my preparation uh, for, for last Olympia in 2007. My plan was to be in the top ten, so wow, I'm that's really good. I'm really lucky with with my fifth place. I'm happy, of course. Yeah, and, I'm ecstatic. Uh, so yeah, uh, talk, yeah. I, I see uh, Melvin the first time in I think 2004. Yeah, at the night in of New York, night of champions, mm -hmm. and he was uh, uh, first. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. So I was even uh, 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 pro, so I was. Amateur, so mm, you know he's competing <laughs> uh, Before him. longer than me. So you know you learn from guys like yeah, of course, of course. Right. He is a very uh, popular guy, and uh, oh, yeah. he is the best poser at the moment. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, and they still trying to take that away from him. <laughs> oh, they can't take I don't know what that right. is. Yeah, you know, tell them stop it. So say beat me, head. beat me. <laughs> stop, stop trying to complain. <laughs> just beat me. Yeah, it's supposed one of your strong suits as well. Oh yeah. I think uh, he getting there. Last year was that he's good oh, he this year. Soul, this, huh? Yeah, this year he, he got to, he, to, because to crank, <laughs> you took him down to the hood. Uh, yeah, I, okay, I, I, okay. come get me for a week. I, oh, I have okay, up there okay. break dancing. <laughs> I, I'm not posing like like uh, Melvin. I, I, I he's like, doing uh, he's doing well. Uh, yeah, I like uh, classic uh, powerful stuff. and powerful mm. with uh, good music. So that's my uh, 
uh, my, my art to, to uh, make posing. So that's what I learned from, from my first show on and uh, I do it every, every year. So. Well, let me ask you something, Dennis. How did you start in bodybuilding? What got you started? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, Tell the truth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 I can tell you what I was, uh, I was I can always tell you a what fan got me of uh, <laughs> bodybuilders. Of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I watching yeah. always, always well, watching the movies and uh, you know. Yeah. But um, I I don't have idea how to get these muscles, you know. And mm. 